The new conservative book out called The Right Path should be called The Way to Wisdom. It's by Tasha Carradine. She joins me right now because I read the book. It's fabulous. It's available on Amazon. I know Thank people you. are going to say that. <laughs> um, but really, you know, you're, you're talking about how the Conservative Party can win power. But right now, in the middle of this leadership, the Conservative Party seems to be rent asunder by populists over here and the people who aren't populist over here. And you address that in your book. You know, it's not, it's not really, shouldn't be splitting party. It shouldn't be. Um, what it's doing is it's creating a new division that wasn't there before. Previously, you had social conservative, fiscal conservatives, libertarians, and they were always trying to figure out how they live together. Right. But this is now a class division. And the problem is, is that one group is demonizing another within the own, their own party. They're demonizing the elites. Populists will demonize the elites. They say that's the problem. Get rid of the gatekeepers, as Pierre Polyev will say. But the problem is you're attacking people within your own fold. And that is what the division is becoming. The reality is the populists in our party need the elites as much as the elites need the populists to win the next election. And what's because wrong with populism, though? I mean, populism means democracy, to my mind. It means people who are out there, you know, working at their jobs, they just want to get ahead. Populism arises when people don't have social mobility. Populism True. is a response to when people feel they can't get ahead, even if they get the right job, get the right degree, they can't afford to have the life they want. So what they do is then you start blaming someone. And in this case, Off you're blaming, their heads. blaming, yes, exactly, blaming the elites. Um, on the other side, you have identity politics, woke politics. I talk very much about that, how populism and wokeism are essentially, you know, two sides of, of the same coin. Yeah. They both say that somebody's getting favors somewhere and it's unfair. What we need to do is come back to the conservative principles of basically small, of community decision, of local decision making, the platoons of society like the family, for example, and equality of opportunity. Because when people think that the game is not rigged, they don't turn to populism. They believe they can get ahead. So government has a- Do you think a, the game is rigged right now for many Canadians? No, I don't think it's rigged, but I think that the perception is that it is. And in fact, it's interesting because the United States had a huge problem with their middle class starting after the uh, housing crisis. Canada did not actually experience that. But our prime minister, Justin Trudeau, told us that our middle class was falling apart. They actually weren't. So instead of basically doing what, he, what Mr. Harper did, which is cut taxes, have things, the economy was doing well, no. he threw money at the middle class that he didn't have to do and fed this idea that they're being held back. And now it's being exploited by the populace. In the United States, there's more truth to it, but not here. And I think that populism has got a bad word or bad connotation, though, because it's connected with Trumpism. Yes. The Canadian media says, oh, it's Trump in Canada. Well, I say that too in the book. I say that, you know what, it's people are importing this and the danger is that it's not in the Canadian conservative tradition. And it also makes people very uncomfortable with conservatism because they equate the two. And there are people who will not vote conservative if they think that it's a party that is aligned with that view. The, the, you know, the soft liberal vote, the blue liberal vote that is right now very unhappy with the merger, or the, or the coalition rather that Trudeau has, they are accessible to the Tories. So the Conservatives have to go there and not veer too far to the populist right. They all have to read your book, The Right Path, available on Amazon. Thanks, Tasha. Thank you. Three minutes. I read the comments that you leave after every show, and I get it. A number of you don't like my glasses. But a number of you saying, when we're asking for money, well, how much money does he need? I do not get a penny for doing this show. I do this show because I believe there has to be an outlet for discussion, analysis, news, Trudeau's $700,000 kitchen, and I wouldn't be there in the mainstream news. I'm asking for money because these guys behind the camera, the crew, they need to get paid to do their job. So, help us. Press subscribe, press PayPal.